Catherine with Mumtug Educate and I have just created a set of presets for a few different types of cameras. So I'm going to start with the presets that I've made for Nikon bodies because presets do not work the same on every type of camera body. Um, you also have to take into consideration that if you buy presets such as these for studio light, they will only work with studio light. They will not work with natural light. So this is a Nikon image and I have actually um, written in um, which camera body it'll go best with. So it's called the Flutter Collection and there's three presets specifically for Nikon. And depending on the look you're going for, um, I'm going to click with this one, Lemon. It also goes um, with the color yellow. That's why I've created the names to give you an idea of what colors they'll work with. And um, so I'm going to click on Lemon for this one. And these images, all three of them, these two are shot by the same photographer. This is shot by a separate photographer. Um, all three of them were shot underexposed. So these Nikon uh, presets are actually quite high in the exposure. So if it's too bright for you, you have to bring down the exposure. So this was set at 75 because it was quite an underexposed image. Okay. Um, for this one, I am going to click on yellow. That's really soft and buttery. It's really pretty. Lemon is just more pronounced and the cream is just um, less saturated. So I think I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the yellow because it's just really soft and I'm actually going to um, increase the exposure just by it a little bit. And I'm just going to increase the magenta tint just a little bit. Okay. And this one as well, I'm going to go with this one here because I did it. Um, you always want to keep um, your sets of images the same. So um, I'm going to paste the settings that I just applied to the first image and sync them. So now both of these images are going to be the same settings. They're the same backdrop. Uh, now we're going to work on some Canon images, and if you pay attention to the top bar here, it'll tell you which camera body it is. Over here, it'll show which lens it is and the settings that the image is shot with. So I am going to, um, this is my image here, so I am just going to um, show you that I have a separate folder for the Canon Mark III, but you can feel free to... Um, obviously play with all the presets and see which ones you prefer. But this one I am going to stick with for this image. Just keeps the whites uh, fairly clean and um, I just like the skin tones of the image. Um, so we'll just show you before and after. And so what I would do is I would take this directly into Photoshop and just do skin smoothing and remove baby acne. Uh, for this image, um, her bonnet is a little bit brighter than the backdrop, so I would probably in Photoshop for print, I would match, color match the bonnet to the backdrop or the backdrop to the bonnet. Um, So this is shot with a Mark IV. Um, as you can see, the natural also works on this image. Um, you can just see the difference here. Um, let's see through here. There's this one as well, lavender. Um, mild. Mild, I would uh, bring the warmth down and then just up the exposure. Okay, so you can see before and after. So as you can see, the tones of the skin are really good, but the backdrop is not really purple anymore, so I would definitely change that in Photoshop. Uh, this uh, image is shot with a Canon 6D Mark II. 
You see how neon yellow this baby's skin is? Oof, jaundice. So I actually created a jaundice action, or a jaundice preset. So you can see here, I've clicked on it. It's uh, gotten rid of that neon yellow skin. So I'm actually going to bring the highlights up just a touch exposure just a little bit and I'm probably going to just bring the warmth down just a tad. Okay, so you see neon, you see uh, a lot less neon. <laughs> um, if you feel like it's taken too much color out of the baby's face, then you can always go into saturation and just add a little bit back in. Okay. Um, for this, um, I've created an action to go with blue fabrics. So it's called blues. And it's just a really very subtle preset. And you can increase the exposure a little bit and I would just bring the highlights down slightly. And you can see here before and after. This is a shot um, that I took with my Mark III. And I would probably use, there we go, natural with that. And I'm going to increase the warmth. And I'm actually going to bring the, the magentas up as well. And I'm actually just going to bring the highlights down just because I have them up a little high. Uh, just because this image was bright to begin with. And for me, um, personally, I would crop it in tighter. I would go to a five by seven and um, keep it there like that. And next I would, this is just on a white fabric. White is always tricky so I would try one of these. Flutter white. I like that. You can see the before and after. Now for the Canon 6D Mark II, I am going to try the with neutral. And I'm just going to decrease the warmth a little bit, like here. We might even just increase the magentas a little bit. So you can see the difference, how pretty that is. This one I've created for pale skin, so we'll stick to pale skin for him on that one. This one is another very pale skin bebe, so, and it's also backlit. So we're going to stick to that image, or that preset, very pale skin. Okay, and then this one is blush, and I really, really like that. Let's see here. So this one is, um, if you increased the exposure, that's, always, that's also very pretty also. It's very soft and very neutral. So either one works for that, blush or pastel. So I think I'm going to go with, maybe I'll try blush just to show you guys. So I'm just going to, I don't even think I need to bring it up. I'm just going to bring the highlights down just a little bit. And probably bring up the magentas just a tiny bit. Okay. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, I'm going to bring the magentas, or the, yeah, the magenta tint up by a bit. Okay, 
I'm going to leave that one there. That was shot with blush. And the one that I have for Mark IV. Actually, I really like that on there. Keeps the greens in the right tones, so I would probably just, yeah, leave it just like that. Really pretty. Then let's try the pastel again. I like that. So cute. It's brought down the highlights quite a bit, so if you're finding that it's making your highlights too flat, then just bring your highlights back up to zero. Um, I think that's really cute. There, I'm just messing with my tint and my temperature just a touch. Click uh, Command R or double click your mouse for open and camera raw. And I'm going to open the images. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do a whole lot with these because the preset has done most of the work. Um, however, I am going to go into my Mumtog skin actions and I am going to just uh, give it a boost of contrast. So I'm just going to run refresh and contrast. You can see it just boosted it. I'm going to flatten that. Uh, this one I am going to do the same. I'm going to actually I'm going to brighten midtones slightly. And so 15% flatten it and I am going to refresh and contrast that as well, but I'm going to lower the opacity on that one cuz I don't want it to be too strong. And then on the Nikon image, I'm going to do the same. I am going to run my, first I'm going to run Brighten Midtones, just because um, a lot of skin issues are a result of underexposure. So I'm going to flatten that. And then I am going to refresh and contrast as well. Of course, you have to adjust the strength of everything. You don't want it you know, leave it on too strong if it, it's too strong for you. Um, I'm just going to lower the opacity to that. I'm going to flatten it. And now I am going to run, I'm going to go to this one, and I am going to run D-Blotch Medium. Okay, and now I am going to Put it on with a white brush at 100% opacity. And I'm not going to remove skin flakes just because it's uh, a skin tutorial or a tutorial just to show you how to use the presets really. Um, I am also going to do Mumtog New Red Off. She doesn't have any red skin issues, but I am going to use part of the action on her skin and it's called Even at Base, and I am just going to run a full 100% brush on a, her face at 100%. So you can see it's just brought some extra goodness to her skin. I'm going to flatten it, and I'm going to just leave that as is. That's going to be finished. This one, um, I am going to run the new red off also on her face and I'm going to once again with a white brush I'm going to run the even at base over top of her skin. You can see the difference there. Okay, I'm going to flatten that and then I'm going to do the deep blotch. Probably going to do deep blotch strong on this image just because there's more um, skin to work with. Okay, and now I'm just going to go right over her cheeks and her forehead, just like that. And I'm just going to go over the large sections of her skin, and there we go. 
Um, I would, if I was finishing the edit, I would remove all the skin flakes from her face, but I'm just going to leave that as is. Just for the tutorials. And this one I am going to run deblotch medium. Okay, and now I am just going to run the brush with it being white over top of the black layer. Okay. Okay, and that would be it also. So um, to finish off this image, I would patch tool the flakes on her skin. Okay, but um, I will do that in a separate tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. You're going to be able to find the purchase link in the description of this video. And um, join the Facebook group MomTog Educate for a special discount. Thanks for watching.